Hello everybody, Puzzle Piece is back with more of Nancy Drew, The Haunted Carousel. We are in Harlan's office and he is away, so we are going to snoop. Hmm. Yeah, that's not really much that we can do there. We can try to get into his lock. Never mind. I was like, we could try to get into his locker. No. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's nothing in here. Just high voltage. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to get by this, but okay. Is there anything over here? Hmm. Yeah, I know it's to get into the locker, but I don't have his locker combination. Oh, unless it's that number that's on the magazine. I don't know why it would be the magazine number, but... 10, 11, 90. Okay. 10, 11, 90. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have what we need. Ugh. Hello? Hi, Nance. Hey! I some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. Okay. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever tell them, but... Do -do -do -do. Yeah, nothing really much in here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, back to the hotel. Get to the computer. Uh, inbox. Nancy. News from home. Oh. Okay, that's just from Hannah. More news. Oh, okay, that's okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, these are just all the different awards. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Writing words quickly using the sound of the words. For example, the word I is written that, which represents the word I. This method is sometimes called phon phonetic writing. In the following lessons, you will learn. Da, 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 da. Sure. The stenograph, the st steno stenograph or stroke for S is a small comma. This stroke is also used for the sound of Z. The sound for A, as in May and Day, is represented by a small circle. Not the same as the one before, yeah. Yeah, so it's like the curl and then the circle part. Okay.
Not for Y. Similarly to Ace, but not the E. Okay. Oh, typed liar that is not pronounced, so it's gonna be Y. E. Type the letter that is not pronounced. That's correct, okay. Oh, I see. So you put the letter in on your keyboard, then press enter. Okay. So E. Correct. Uh, snow. Yay, perfect score. Okay, so yeah. Basically going through all these will help you with this. Which we still have no idea of. Well, I mean, if you look on a thing, but... Okay. So, that's N, that's M. Okay. Type the correct word in longhand before each stenograph. Okay, so... Me? Yeah, okay. Uh, that's... No. Oh, this down here. I was like trying to think of what it was. Okay, that's a... Uh, sand? No. Hmm. Yeah, that one's tricky. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just go on to the next one. Okay, uh, men. Really? This one is... Well, maybe this name? That one's name. Okay, right. Because some of them you don't put in. Okay, so... So, M... E... Mean? Okay, mean. Uh, what's this one then? S... Seam? Or not Sean, sorry, I was trying to do seam. Or not seam, sorry. Seen? But then what's what's this part? Is it not this? Hmm. Not an M. And? Oh. No. Hmm. Because I'm thinking that this is an A. And then that's an N. No. Hmm. Okay, I actually might need to look this one up. Alright, so, we're back. We don't need to worry about this, because... This is... The word... Glory. Oh, glory. The name of the carousel horse is Glory. Thank you, Google. <laughs> so, 
So we don't need to play this anymore. So exit. Okay. So cool. We figured that out. Just trying to turn back around. Hopefully Harlan still isn't in his place. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. 10, 11, 90. Okay. 10, 11, 90. 10, 11, 90. Yeah, trying this again. Okay. Ten. Eleven. Ninety. Yeah. Appointments. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Yep, so we'll call him. Two for one at Bazon uh, Bonanza Burger. Nice. Okay, so we'll call him. And apparently we need a wonder what's on here. Uh, I'll just play it and find out. Yeah, you know, just play it. Find out. So luckily we have this here. We'll place it in to see what's on it. Oh. Ah. Uh, this is how we get the number. I'm going to grab my pen. It looks like zero, seven, two, six. Zero, seven, two, six. I better put this back where I found it. Yes, that's a good point. Let's not be suspicious. <laughs> At least I don't have to put the code back in again. You know, be kind. Rewind. <laughs> okay, so now we know Ingrid's code, so we can go and check up, or check up. We can go into her office. It's locked. Perfect. So it's zero seven two six. Perfect. Let's snoop. Call L H about results. L H. Lance Huffington, maybe. Maybe. And I think we have these numbers here on our thing, but let's just check. Lewis, LJ, perfect. Just wanted to double check. Da -da -da -da, nothing's here. And then back here, yes. Check in in here. Ooh, that's a nice watch. Wow, that's one expensive watch. Ooh, yes it is, paid in cash, holy crap. And I think that was it. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that's all we can do in here. Okay. Should we go talk to Elliot? Fancy! You're a procrastinator's dream. Know that? Come in. Ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. Don't know if you're being sarcastic or if you're being actually truthful here. Hmm. Yeah. I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. <laughs> okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's Quarters Day. Day. Spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get oh. only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for, like, centuries. Comes with a souvenir spoon. Silvery, as in spoon. Get it? Oh. Elliot, you're a genius. Next riddle. Come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. <laughs> nah, that's it. Go back to work. I'll let you get back to work. Rock on. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, that was it. You go back to work now. <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh, we need to, yes, okay. So we need to order this fun day. Order this fun day. Let's see. Oh. C, 
six layers of sheer heaven serves with our very own collectible souvenir spoon. Chocolate chip brownie layered with ice cream, banana chunks, nuts, whipped cream topped with triple thick hot fudge. Ugh. Sorry, that's not really for me, but someone wants it. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. <laughs> Good, use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that <laughs> Drew? Nancy Drew? Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? Uh, we need the fun day. I'd like to order a fun day, please. 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day souvenir spoon coming right up. Anything else? Kind of sounds like Harvey, uh, Harley Quinn. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Let's eat. Oh, that was so good. Ah, okay. So we take this spoon back to Joy, apparently. Cool. Because, you know, investigating. Where you play games, ride the carousel, and eat ice cream. <laughs> it's fun being a private investigator. Any luck? Uh... Here. I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. <laughs> Just throw it at him. Oh, I let. <laughs> it's um smoker's pipes. I didn't realize that. There. There you go. Mr. Easy Bake Oven. Scan is complete. <laughs> the object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Oh. Miles, in the riddle, you said something about telling a truth long since put away. You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Oh. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. Oh. I did that? No. My father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. Oh, okay, now I feel bad. <laughs> Did you want me to get you an ice cream? <laughs> I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. Yeah. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. <laughs> he realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. Yeah. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent <laughs> Memory Machine. <laughs> Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. <laughs> it's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. You know, some of the things your father wants you to remember may be pretty painful. Are you sure you want to go on? If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. Hmm. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. Yep. Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. <laughs> As you can tell from from ours. Like, quite frankly, I go to work, I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. Hmm. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. So with this one, I do know that it's a hidden message on, uh, on the paper. So we need a, a lemon? Yeah, we need lemon juice. Anything on this menu give us lemons? Hmm. 
with cheese. Uh, maybe the soft drink, but... Artichokes. Hmm. I thought it was something like that. Like, there's another item of food that you can order. Hotel operator, what do you want? <laughs> oh my god, that's such a good, good voice actress. Uh... I think it can work with the orange juice. I'd like juice. to order the pasta and veggie platter with orange juice instead of a soft drink, please. Health matter. Well, whatever. Anything else? No, that's it. That's it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> oh, God. What service? Ooh. Speaking of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, now she's just eating. I actually truly thought that we do need an orange, that or an orange, a lemon. I just don't. Is it a lemon we need? I'm gonna check the computer because I know it says it on here. Uh, sassy detective. Lemon juice, yeah. Moderate heat. Lowest setting. Oh, okay, so we just need the... Okay. I actually... <laughs> so we just had a meal instead of getting to what we actually needed to do. And of course the video is going to end soon. So let's just get our things set up. I need to turn the iron on. Oh. Here we go. Place it down and run it over. One more. Enjoy the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune plus. The first oh, eight she's gonna read it for me. Band organ tune plus one mouth organ plus one smidgen of talent equals one happy mile. Cool. Nope, don't. Stop. <laughs> I need to turn the iron on. Okay, yeah. Just wanted to make sure it was off, because if I leave, it'll- the whole- the hotel will catch on fire. We've been through enough second chances. So, in the next video, we're going to, uh... Okay, so it does look like we need, uh, the harmonica from the game. So we're gonna get another game card from Harlan, and see if we can get that harmonica from the games. So, do stay tuned. This is Puzzle Pieces, signing off.